guys, what's up? It's Simon from Vintro here. So it is a big warm welcome to our YouTube channel. Today's vlog is all about my recently purchased Ferrari Testarossa. And the reason I want to put this out is because when you buy a car like the Testarossa with just two previous owners and 7,400 miles, you do expect it to be near on perfect. And I have to say, it pretty much is. When I got the car home, after full inspection, it was everything I could imagine this car to be, plus more. I cannot tell you how excited I am to own such an iconic prancing horse, if you like. However, when I uh, carried out my inspection, I did find in the engine cover that it seems to be missing some heat resisting, uh, soundproofing um, material, if you like. So. I thought, well, I'll do a little bit of investigation and why that I believe that is missing is because there's some old glue that seems to uh, be in place where the old soundproofing used to be. I then researched a little bit on Ferrari chat and I got a whole wealth of knowledge back from some really great guys who helped me out and said, well, some Tesserosas had the engine proofing, um, soundproofing if you like, and some don't. Mine clearly did because I still got the old residue of the glue. So one guy even gave me a link to uh, this, this uh, on eBay and said, well try this because this really is um, what you're looking for. It's got like a, a silver sort of a fire resistant to the material as well as the uh, right size uh, millimeter to where the soundproofing should be. So I purchased that, I've got it, I'm going to fit it to the Tessarossa and uh, I'm going to video it for you guys. Okay guys, so as you can see the car behind me, um, I've turned it round. I want to do that because of the lovely sunlight today. That will give you uh, a chance hopefully to see where I think this engine soundproof is missing. So let's go and take a look at the car. Let's get the hood up so we can um, see what job we're going to take on today. Okay, let's, uh, let's get the engine cover up on this beast. And there you sort of have it really, the, that is the flat 12 Ferrari boxer engine that is fitted to this 88 Testarossa. And as you can see, you know, the, the, the car, hopefully this you can see with the sunlight, that the car is absolutely mint. It's, it is really like it come out of the factory all those years ago. But this is the bit I'm talking about. I don't know if you can see this, but there is clearly it is evident that it had an engine cover in there. So this is the part that I'm going to be fitting today. So I'm going to strip this engine cover off. I've got a, what, what seems to be a 10 millimeter nut here and here and something going on just here. So hopefully we'll get that stripped off. I'll show you that and we'll get that engine soundproof fitted. So there we have it guys, there's the engine cover now removed from the car and I've just placed it on a sheet here on my grass and hopefully you'll see now, I hope that's not too much of the sunlight there, that you can actually see that this car clearly had 
engine soundproof in, in place. So the link that the guy sent me from Ferrari chat was to this big silver sheet here that is obviously the heat resistant sheet. Um, if I just flip this over, you'll see that I think that's going to have adhesive on there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut that shape into the engine cover there, fit that, and hopefully that will do the job. Okay guys, so this is the engine cover. And as you can see, it's got some um, sort of the old residue of the, the engine soundproofing here. I've got this um, plastic scraper because I don't want to cause any too, too much damage. So I, what I want to do is just, just take off the, these old bits. It is still sticky, so I don't think this has been removed that long. So I just want to clean those edge up. And then what we'll do, we'll cut the new engine cover in place as well. So let's, let's just uh, dig around, get some of this old residue of the old matting off here and uh, we'll see how this this comes out yeah that's 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 okay that's, that's coming off okay as I say this is still really really sticky so I don't think we're gonna have any any issue with the, uh, the new soundproofing sticking at all take some of that off there and also as well not just because it should be there it will give it a better appearance of when we lift the hood up of the car um, and as I say the car is pretty much mint how it left factory anyhow and this is uh, just one little area where I think it will actually complement the car Doing this on a hot baking day is probably could be a good thing and a bad thing. The bad thing is that I'm getting really hot, but well suntanned. And the good thing is that this plastic is really, or well, this stickiness is really sticky. So as I say, again, it should be good to, to fit the, the new soundproofing. I think that's probably just about do. As you can see, it is still really so, so sticky. I'll have a measure up the new uh, soundproofing. Okay. moment guys I'm just trial fitting sort of a template that's made here by cutting the bits out there because obviously when we peel the stickiness back it's not going to be that easy so we want to make sure that everything is really in place so that's that's cool that's good and that is good too so yeah, so that is pretty much, so once we get the template stuck down, I will then cut around the edges, so let's do that now. What we're going to do is just peel this front bit off first, tuck that under there so I can grab that. There is going to be no second chance on this, so let's, let's get that in place now. There is where we have it.
Yeah, that fits good. Okay, so we've got that far, guys. Looking good. Yes, that feels very, very good. rest of it peeled back. That's the bit I mean. Let's get that peeled back to there. We want to make sure that we get the crinkles out. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just cut the, the residue off around the outside and see where we sit with that. Okay guys, you can see now I have the whole engine soundproofing in place, but I'm just showing you those edges because it's really, really tricky to actually get them in place. And don't worry, I won't be leaving it like that. What I'll be doing now, now the actual soundproofing is in place, I'll now trim those edges up so they look all even, all round. So there you can see, all fitted. Not too bad at all. I think it's going to make the car's appearance so much better once the engine cover is fitted back on the car, which we'll go and do now. So we are now ready to install the engine cover. That's sitting over there on the grass. But before doing so, I just want to come round to the car here. I don't know if you can see this bar along here. You can actually see that it's got the, the old residue with the soundproofing that was on the car originally. So I'm going to clean that off, um, that's why I put that sheet in there so it catches some of that old rubbish. And also if you look here at the lights and the aperture of where the, the engine cover sits, it's looking a bit dirty so it gives me an opportunity to actually get some of my recent products I purchased from Cartech to give that a little bit of a clean. So I'm going to do that first uh, right now. I don't know if you can see that guys, but that's some of the, uh, the old muck off that, that crossbar that um, the engine cover mounts onto. Um, I'm just going to clean up all around here because as I say, that will give me that opportunity to get into there and get some of that grime out of there. And uh, really for peace of mind that I know the car is uh, as really lovely as it can be. So I'm just going to give this, uh, um, this area here a bit of a clean, I got me, me dabble and brush. Uh, I got a little bit of iron wash, which is a good product as we know. I'm just going to spray these areas here and just, just get the, um, just put that in there, just to see what. 
truck we can get out. As I say, it's not really that, that dirty, but having the engine cover off, it's a good idea just to peace of mind that no, it's uh, a little bit clean. So. Nothing too heavy there, I just want to have the peace of mind that when that engine cover is fitted that I know that everything under here is as clean and original as it possibly can be. So that looks, that looks pretty good. So the next job is obviously to fit the engine cover. So we'll just put the hood down here. We now know that all the the aperture here is clean, uh, the bars are all cleaned up at the back, so basically we just need to um, locate the, I don't know if you can see there on the camera, these screws, they sort of, the engine cover slots in and pulls back, so put that on like so, oh, just got a bit of give you every that, take that off. Right, I do believe we're in now. I just uh, want to make sure that that is in place before we get too carried away. I've just got my hand underneath and locating. Yeah, that is definitely in place. So we're now, I've got the engine cover seated in place, so let's just um, let's get a, sc a screw in there just for safety measures so it doesn't go anywhere and then we'll do the, the final lining up. Right, so what I've done, just nip the back ones first because they draw the engine cover to where it actually should be. So I've kept these ones deliberately loose and we'll nip them down shortly. So we're well, doing the back ones first, it really does locate where the engine cover should be. These don't really need to be over tight. What I want to do now is just give that a final roll out that engine cover. Okay, so I think you could probably agree that looks a hundred times better than it did. Um, I'm just going to give that a final wipe, a final clean under here. Um, and then we'll get ready to polish the other side of the engine cover because it's got a little bit of glue on it and so on. So let's get that cleaned up under there and we're ready to go. Now that to me looks really good. I'm really pleased with the result. Um, I hope you can see the difference to when we first started but now it gives me more of a pleasure to see that glorious flat 12 boxer engine with a nice engine cover because I did think it looked a little bit messy, a little bit ugly with that old glue on there. So the final thing to do now to finish the job is 
the engine cover. I don't know if this, you can pick that up in the sun, but it's now got sort of a glue and marks over it. So I'm going to get some decent polish on that now, just to finish that off and it's job done. Okay, so just finally, I do want to finish the engine cover um, to give it a, a quick polish. Just to take some of that old uh, glue from the, the soundproof. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of water over there because it's just uh, we are in the blazing sun. I know it's not a good idea to polish your car in the sun, but for this small amount I'm doing here, I don't think I'll be any harm. So let's, um, let's, get that done and let's get her back in the garage. The car was really highly polished and waxed anyhow. So obviously this shouldn't take too much time to come through. seen on some testerosas this guy sent me an image and he said don't bother with your engine soundproof and just cut a glass window in there to show the engine I gotta say it looked really really cool really good but this car being so original it just doesn't warrant it um, I'm a bit reluctant to do any modifications to the car because of, of what it is I'm still debating whether to put a, a performance exhaust on the car but I don't know Rosa soundproofing an engine cover. That I think looks fantastic. Got a couple of swirls in there, but I'm hoping to have those taken out when I mop the car. Or if I pop over to see my friend Adam at AG Detail or Colin down at Viper, they'll sort me out on that. But that's it guys. So that is the engine soundproof cover on my Tessa Rosa. So that is the end of our first video of the soundproofing change on the engine cover on the Ferrari Tesla Rosa. Hopefully you like the content. If you do, please do give this video a like, give it a thumbs up, and maybe perhaps you'd consider subscribing. But in the meantime, I just want to take this opportunity to give you an idea of some of the content that's coming up on the channel. Not only are we going to be doing stuff like we've done today, but we're launching a new series called Talking Car Tales. Talking Car Tales is all about you, the Vintro community member, where you will be invited for an interview here at the Vintro Studios. We're going to be asking you all about the cars that you've had in the past, the cars that you have now, and of course some of the cars that we all dream about and inspire to, and perhaps maybe we'll own in the future. So if that is a series that you think you'd be interested in, please do stay tuned for the channel. But in the meantime, guys, in this uncertain times, please do stay safe. We really hope to see you soon in your car at a Vintro meet or maybe on one of our road trips. But for now, peace and love as always. Thank you.